Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So today I want to answer a few questions about the electric super ultra wide monitor. So a few people have been questioning how to get the full 120 hertz on this monitor. So I'm basically going to explain this as simply as I can. The first step is that you need to be using a DisplayPort cable. You can't use a HDMI cable because HDMI does not support anything above 60 hertz. So first step, use your DisplayPort cable if you've got a graphics card that supports it. If you don't, what I recommend is getting a adapter for this. There's a few on Amazon. So for example, if you're trying to plug into a MacBook which only has USB-C, what you'll want to do is get a DisplayPort to USB-C cable so you can plug into your MacBook. Okay, so if you can't connect DisplayPort to your MacBook, for example, what you want to get is one of these USB-C to DisplayPort cables. It runs 4K at 60 hertz, or in our case, we want to get the full 120 hertz. So, I mean, that's like, you know, for gaming and things like that. Although, if you're on a MacBook, I won't really say it can handle gaming very well. I had a MacBook and I could barely play Minecraft at 60 frames. I think I handled like 30 to 45 and it was kind of bad. So. Anyway, <laughs> if you've got a MacBook, check this product out. It runs 4K at 60 hertz or 2K at 165. It should do what you're after. It should plug into the monitor through DisplayPort and it should plug into your MacBook or laptop with a USB-C connection and this should sort you out. The minute it's only £12, it is £40 retail and it's going for 12 at the minute. There's also one that's one meter long for £11, so definitely check this out. I'll leave a link in the description. So there's actually one more thing you need to do before you can get 120Hz uh, with this monitor. You need to actually go onto your display adapter settings and you need to manually change the refresh rate. Uh, you would think that Windows would be able to do this by itself but unfortunately it just doesn't seem to be able to. Um, so you need to manually change that and I'll show you how to do that now. Again if you've got a MacBook I'm not sure how to change the refresh rate but I'm sure you'll be able to find it within the settings or maybe a MacBook's a little bit smarter than Windows and you'll be able to change it in the display settings. Um, on your Mac. First of all, I'm sorry that I'm using uh, ultra-wide resolution at the minute so the display isn't very clear, but in order to get the 120Hz refresh rate on Windows, right-click on the desktop, uh, go to Display Settings, wait for that window to pop up. You want to go all the way to the bottom, Advanced Display Settings, and then down here you'll have the option for 50Hz, 60Hz, or 120Hz. You can also, if that isn't showing up, you can click Display Adapter Properties for Display 1, and you can click Monitor, and then you can set the refresh rate here, and you can click Apply. And and that will obviously change your refresh rate. So there's actually one more thing you need to do. In order to enable HDR on this monitor, you need to use these buttons on the bottom and you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, you click the first one that says home and it should pop up this menu. Um, and then you want to use these, uh, the second um, and third button to go sort of down. And you're able to go to um, one of these sections here. Um, so here we go, other, and here you can enable HDR. So I believe you click the third button, uh, nope, you click um, one, two, three, you click the home button and then that will allow you to go into here. Then you can use the sort of left and right icons to go down and up. Um, you can go to HDR, uh, click the uh, home icon to go into that and then you can click on and to enable on you click the home icon again and that will enable HDR through DisplayPort. So hopefully that helps clear a few things up. That is how you get the full 120Hz on the electric super ultra wide monitor. Uh, this works for both the 43 inch and the 49 inch versions. And it's also how to enable HDR on this monitor. Hope that helps. If it did, make sure you subscribe, leave a like, drop a comment, share this video with your friends, buy this monitor. It's absolutely amazing. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.